So I kind of I kind of just did this stuff. Um, I started to, to do a video. I got a phone call right in the damn middle of it, and I would I would normally I would just be like whatever. I'll just slap these fucking videos together. What's the difference? But while I'm on the phone, I cross over into a fucking I don't know. I I kill. I've I've just killed the last like death claw on this road, or I just got the last fucking location or something, and there lies fucking level 50, and I was just like, I t oh, it's too important to fucking just like slap together. So there's one more uh, death claw, like right here, and here I was thinking, you know, It'd be kind of interesting if I could get a fucking an awesome like sneak attack critical on him with this thing. But the last time I fucking tried it, I hit you know a fucking uh, rebar or something. I mean, what 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 is that, dude? Is that not a fucking hit? That seems like a hit to me. Jerk off. Far too much fucking life on these death claws, man. Far too much life. Nothing in the truck? That's different. Um, yeah, I think it was probably this nuke down here that I popped. And then right as I was fucking going to go down there, because this is where the, um... This is where the Lonesome Road Snow Globe is. Whether it's the divide or what the fuck it is. But, yeah, at this fucking moment I got level 50 and I was like, oh, dope. So, yeah, we'll just take that video out. I feel like it was like right as I was getting up into this truck, too. I don't know what I did different. Maybe I killed the red guy that was up there? No. No, I don't know. There was some slight difference there, and, and it, it changed the fucking entire course of my leveling. I don't know. Yeah, see, like, this 20 experience is, like, almost there, or it might be there. No? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck it was, what difference it, it made. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the fucking snow globe is down here somewhere. It's right there. And now I'm surrounded by fucking death claws. That's a problem. Let's see if I can get to a place where they can't fucking get to. So I'm walking backwards against the building. Okay, so there's level 50. Shibuya. And we'll just put everything up to 40. Well, at least the energy weapons, the guns. And we'll just put the last point in a medicine. Uh, I normally do 100 medicine, but we need to have the rad away do between 1 and 200 rads, and we don't want it to do too much more over 100. Because if it does, then we have a problem. And at level 50, with the uh, super high karma that we probably have, we're going to get thought you died. We'll inflict 10% um, damage, and for every 100 points of karma, we'll gain 10 health, and we're immune to critical hits. So this will make it so that as we regenerate karma, being the good guy for the rest of the game, we'll get more life, and we already will have more damage. So that's it. And now we're back where it resets us to neutral karma as part of its um, as part of its little process there, but we can get back up to good karma with the certain things that we haven't done yet. 
Uh, like, for instance, the rest of the, the good guy version. The, yeah, the, the rest of the game, the, the rest of the uh, main quest line, we can get up some good karma. We're not going to be able to get a whole hell of a lot of karma. Um, and I think we might even get bad karma just from doing the, the end of this. But... Getting a little fucking tired of getting crept on by fucking death claws. And I think there's a bunch of satchel charges around here. There's one. There's two. They kind of lay them around in the rocks. Just as a... You know, to make it harder to see. They have, like, way more range than, like, a frag mine does, and they blow up way faster. Which can sometimes be a good thing, and sometimes it can be a bad thing, but... Um, yeah, I kind of want to fucking get the jump on these assholes. I think that they're all marked men. I think these are the remaining marked men that are have like that have, like, the names or whatever. Because some of them have, like, they're, like, unique. Bone saws ready. That chainsaw's a little gnarly. What's up, bone saw? What's up? Marked perk. More damage against marked men. Oh, there's one other guy. Is he all the way up there? Just take these dudes out. Yeah, you get the the marked perk is like extra damage against the marked men, and it's just from killing a certain amount of the uh, named dudes. All right. So, yeah. Rocket canister is a go-go. If we can find them, we need them. The chainsaw is way, weighs a little bit too much, but... Um, but they're cool. And we need access to another commissary when we get a chance. That's not even a guy. Super Sledge weighs slightly too much. That doesn't weigh too much, though. Yeah, it would have been cool if I had a way to, like, hypnotize guys so that they could fight each other. You know, a little bit like the illusion skill in, um, Skyrim. Or, uh, you know, something. I don't remember killing this guy, but okay. And I feel like there's another nuke around here somewhere. Maybe I'm hallucinating, but maybe not. Maybe it's down here, unless this is the direction I came from. Yeah, it's right there. And in there is some conveniently lead-lined fucking boxes. Um, we're going to wait an hour so that that radiation can clear out. Apparently I'm overburdened now. I wonder what I did different. That's another thing that's kind of nice, is switching back and forth between those weapons reloads this weapon. Because I had something like 10. Now I have 13. So yeah, it's a good thing that they had lead line boxes. It's very convenient. Let's see if we can slap some of this shit together. Uh, I'm gonna run out of fucking space here, but... Yeah, that flare gun is not gonna be worth a damn. Even that thing isn't worth carrying around. So... Yeah, I think we're to the end of the long road, the high road. Yeah, 
And uh, when we get through up here, uh, we kind of start with um, the elevator, I think it is. But first I launch that fucking nuke, right? Yeah, there's it, it. it's like, okay, flip the switch, go to the elevator, and you flip the switch, and then up goes the missile, and you're like, ah, shit. You know, any sentence that starts with, like, what have I done, it's a uh, pretty gnarly thing to consider. So, nothing uh, worth a damn in there. I like these auto-inject stim packs. So far, I haven't really needed to use all the stim packs to a great degree. There have been a few moments where I'm just like, ah, shit, fuck shit. But with the regen plus the auto-injecting stim packs, so every time I'm getting to, like, 30 and 60% life, I'm just like, Shh, oh, look at that, life. Tons and tons of it. The ever-fucking soul of the universe pumping into my veins at all times. So... Booyah. Oh, I don't want that shit. I don't want a fucking handful of fucking fast food. You jerks. That's a lot of interesting stuff. Uh, probably all of this stuff was in the place at one point. Nothing. Lunch boxes. I already came in there. Uh, is there anything in here worth a damn? No Nuka Cola. Nothing. There's a lot of looking around in here. Okay, I think we're good on this shit. Let's go. Let's go to the elevator. Or at least let's go to the control panel. I'm not sure how I'm doing on these nukes, but... I'm gonna flip this switch. Oh, Eddie's gotta unlock it first. Uh, this thing is cool as hell. It's like a power fist that ignores DT that thing quite a bit. They need to make that in real life. Alright. And away los missiles fly. We're over the experience thing. We don't need it anymore, but... Yeah. Space shuttle. I thought ICBMs were like longer and thinner than that. But they just go up and then. I don't remember what this nuke hits. Does it just blow up in the air? I don't know. I don't know where that fucking nuke hit. There's a little bit of light over there. There's one part where fucking Eddie gets like hypnotized or whatever. And he kind of betrays you. So yeah, here's another part where I'm gonna need to. You know, I should be fucking swallowing up these books despite the fact that. Oh, that's fucking ridiculous. Despite the fact that they're not gonna give me anything, just eat them anyways. I think it weighs 15 pounds, though. It's probably better to just sell it. Uh, 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 uh. What am I doing here? Oh, yeah. So, we need, yeah. I think that the Rataway will... What is the Rataway up to? 110. So that'll take me down to 813. Okay. Alright, so we're going to take a break right here. I'm going to save the game. When we come back, we'll go down this elevator. It's kind of a gnar it's going to be kind of a gnarly fucking run cuz I'm only using explosive weapons but yeah we'll see you in a minute bye